Hi, welcome to Gouache with Anne. Today I'm painting a winter street. First I start with a value sketch so I can keep an eye on my lights and darks. Next I'm going to do a whole background of orange. The reason I want to have a total orange background is I want the color to show through in some of the areas like the sky and the snow on the road in the foreground. The end result will mean that all the colors in the painting will have a, a bit of the influence of this orange color and uh, that will really tie the painting together nicely. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my approach. It's, it's, a little, it's different, I think, than other people. Um, I don't try to do any finished parts. I like to just pot, put down colors in, uh, in more or less the, the right areas and knowing that I'll go back and I'll fix them. I'll make them bigger, I'll make them a different shade, but it, what it does do, I find for myself, is loosens me up and it just lets me just paint and approximate the colors. In a lot of cases, I really spend a lot of time to uh, change the color uh, towards the end and make it lighter or darker. And uh, I, this is very freeing in, in the sense that you're not trying to get the exact color down first try. What I'm trying to do is build up the painting and not worry about everything being perfect. And with gouache, as long as I don't have it too thick, I can do this. So I can put something down, wait till it dries, I can fix it, add it a little bit lighter, a little bit of a different color. And it's a very enjoyable way to paint. You never have to worry about making a mistake because if you want to change something, you can change it. So you can just keep going and adjust as you do. And uh, I think that's what makes it so enjoyable. At this stage in the painting, I can step back and take a look at the overall composition. I can make sure that I'm getting my lights and darks in the right places. And I can uh, see where I might adjust a few spots. Next, I'll start working on the medium shapes. Uh, and those will include the windows and the doors. And also some of the trees, the tree trunks and also the shapes of the trees. Sometimes when I'm working on something like this car and I'm finding it a bit difficult getting the wheels in the right shape, I'll use my pencil to draw it in first.
Here's the finished painting. Just a few thoughts. I really like the way that the snow on the tree in the focus point turned out. And uh, I, I think it stands out enough uh, against the background, but not so much that it looks too dark. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you like. And if you want me to answer any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.